Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the Aravaki campaign. So last time out we defeated two armies around here. We are now consolidating with this army, the Wrath of Tolatum. One more turn and we will be fully replenished. And we will then move south with this army and try to take Olisipo from the Lusitani. Meanwhile, in, Lusit in Olisipo we have my, my spy doing some spying of course <laughs> and they look fairly weak to be honest five units here a couple of them depleted two here don't know what they got here but it'll be naval units and of course they got their their garrison we also took Lugos as well which is doing pretty well let's see plus five every turn this army eventually will move south. They're just going to consolidate for one or two turns and see what goes. So we got a little bit of money to spend now. Got to work out what to spend it on. Oh, what's happened? A little bit of a glitch. Let's see. Click on. Click back. Okay, I can't see Helmantica right now. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> Let's check out. Oh, I can't see Tolatum either. Okay, guys, what's going wrong? <laughs> I can see Numantia. Can't see Tolatum. Ah, Helmantica is back. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. I could increase this. I get minus two food, get more more of a garrison, a bit of wealth, or I can go for. Let's see, five two. Five food is good. I'd be happy to have that. And this army could probably move out as well. Let's see. Yeah, they'll be okay without this army, so we move south with this army. And I got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I do apologise if I do sniff once or twice. Hopefully I'll get over it soon. I'm going to check diplomacy quickly. So we got all this, which I'm quite happy with. Soon I'll get that, and then we'll start thinking about the rest of Iberia. Carthage is a concern of mine at the moment, although... They do have an awful lot of enemies. They are currently at war with Rome and... Syracuse, so may maybe they are weak here. The Oritani are quite friendly with me and they're actually at war with Carthage. Now that's opened the door right up for me to take Oritani, so I will think about going down here and taking them out over here. And I'll be right on Carthage's doorstep then. And this army was going back to Toledum. Yeah, I remember what I was going to do. I was going to build this army up here and then go so what we'll do is we will upgrade these and we will get some recruits we'll get some we'll get a unit of ballista and we shall get a swordsman for now and we'll end turn and we'll see how things are going so here we are now all week this week I will be doing uh, this campaign every single day Monday to Friday and this episode should be up on the Wednesday so there'll be two more up this week if everything goes to plan. And we've increased in rank. Excellent. Let's increase then. Ooh, what can we go for? Zeal. Uh, champion. I like the campaign map, so I'm going to go with that because my general can now move a little bit further. Construction complete and quartermaster support. We'll ignore all that. This army is fully replenished, so we can now push on. We don't want to go in down this way because that's Celtic land, so we'll make sure not to cross the border on accident. We can go this far. This army as well. I'm going to accompany accompany them just in case they do get uh, attacked. My spy could probably do something, I wonder. Let's see. Poison the wells. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Successful. Excellent. That's what I like to see. And do we level up at all? I don't think we do. Nope, not quite. Unfortunate. Okay. Ooh, I just sniffed. Whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, back to the campaign. So. Got 707 to spend. A uh, couple more swordsmen, perhaps. I guess some cavalry and a spearman unit. Try and get a decent stack here. This army have moved to there with that one and I got one up here let's check Lugos for a second we got a lawmaster's hut 
14 units. If we take these out, yeah, it goes minus 9. I don't really want to lose too many uh, public order stuff at the moment, so I'm a little bit wary of that. So we'll end turn again. We'll just fly through these end turns now, see how things go. And I'm glad to see so many of you are enjoying this series as well. Um, not quite sure why. <laughs> I did get one comment recently saying that my uh, the way I fight battles is quite unorthodox. It's because I don't have a clue what I'm doing most of the time, to be honest. <laughs> Faction destroyed. Oh, oh my, right. Ah, and they've been destroyed by the Lusitani. Maybe it's worthwhile me going south instead to take out Ebora. Before I do that, though, they're only at war with me, right, okay? What's Nira? Ebora should be easier to take. Matter of fact, Ebora will be easier to take. I'm not going to go into Force March. Not yet, at least. Ebora, I can't see their garrison at the moment. My spy can go over there, though, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, and as expected, we've only got f an army of four, and they have eleven in the garrison, but the garrison's weak. We can take Ebora in the next turn or two, and then go for Lysipo, so... Yes, uh, I, I'm quite happy with that. There's my uh, eight over there, that's good. Hill Mantica. Still got over a thousand spent. Oh, Tolotum can upgrade to a Grove of Epona, which improves public order. And I get a little bit of a garrison, plus I get a plus five cavalry charge. It's a lot of money though, but I need troops at the moment, so I don't really care about that. So we just get some more swordsmen. Yeah, we get three more units of swordsmen, and we'll end turn again. Ooh. And I want to ask you guys a question Do you prefer the Grand Campaign, or do you prefer these DLCs where you get a much smaller uh, experience of the game do you find it more focused than the grand campaign the fact that you've got you know, like a peninsula type of thing a peninsula war like the, like on Napoleon or like this game with this with this campaign or do you prefer the actual grand campaign where you've got all, all the different factions so let me know in the in the comments what you prefer ooh and he just needs it again not going well for me at the moment, is it? If I go to the road but there, we can get as far as that. With this army. Just sneak them forward at the moment. And in the next turn I should probably Yeah, and get there in, in turn's time. Which is excellent news for me. This army's actually moving out as well, surprisingly. Ooh, right, so let's move my spy just to there so I can see both of them. And this war is going to heat up shortly. Ooh, there's a nice rain there as well. I love the new effects with this uh, campaign. Although these should, this should have been in the original release of the game. Back when the game was being released. And let's see, we've got Ballista, Spearman. Let's guess for missiles, we'll go for three units of slingers as well. Pad that army out. End turn. While I sniff. <laughs> I don't mind these uh, type of DLCs. What I don't like is the Beasts of War, that those type of DLCs where they offer very, very little. At least with this campaign, you got at least with this you've got a new campaign, a couple of new factions. I don't think we had new units with this, or maybe we had one or two, I'm not sure. I can't, don't, didn't quite re read all the uh, the change log, not change log. The update, the patch updates. Didn't read that, so I wouldn't really know. And this army can march straight in. Oh, look at that! And I might. What have we got? Tribesmen. Yeah, but we'll fight this battle. I could have reinforced with my other army, but we should be able to take this. Take them out with, without that worry. They're going to sally out, so they're going to fight us in the field. Battle of Ebora, 216 BC. And hopefully I won't drop de dead from illness before the end of this battle. Because I do feel quite poorly at the moment. 
hopefully when I record tomorrow's episode though it will, won't be it'll, it'll be a bit better so yeah <laughs> what do you guys think of the artwork as well with, the, with this uh, unit cards this it's actually a graphics mod that I'm using I got it from the Total War Center and I must say I prefer it to the regular uh, updates that the regular uh, not updates what am I on about the regular unit cards that's the word I'm looking for <laughs> got here in the end just talking up my arse as usual and we're going to control these as well at one stage just gets get them on explosive here we go let's get some shots away bombs away bombardier oh bugger that's too short damn I also had a comment the other day saying they missed the pink units <laughs> it's quite funny to read oh that looks good that looks really good Ooh, that's gonna hurt in the morning the only thing is some they do get back up it's, it's more of a disruptive type of thing really than, than anything else I do, I do like to use it though I do like to to spray my enemies about the place like so I may actually switch back to a regular shot just to... Uh, I'll go for flammable, we'll go for flammable next. Ooh. That looks good, it looks good. No it doesn't. Oh it does. Took a few of them out. And this is where I lose my artillery because I, de I don't... I always forget to look after them. Oh it took your head off there. <laughs> Let's go for there. That looks pretty good. Oh right. Let's go back and concentrate on the battle now because I'll otherwise lose. Let's uh, march everything forward there. Let's get this unit on the flank there. Let's get this unit on the flank there just to try and cover my my artillery. I think we can probably start bringing everything up. Let's get slinging peeps, let's get slinging. And one of them's routing already, that's good. That is good indeed. Noble fighters. Noble fighters. And the damage is being done, this is great. This is absolutely beautiful at the moment. My general is going to charge in because he is a madman. And he's going to get some inspiration as well. Charge in my pretties, charge in. If we can take their giant out, it'll be a bonus. Iberian swordsman. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Charge, charge, my friends. Melee fighters. Get headhunt going. Get these special abilities going. Oh my, don't run away. What are you doing? Uh oh. I'm gonna lose my artillery here. Get in there quick. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's get back to the artillery. Let's get a shot away if we can. No. Oh, they're out in. They're out in. There. I think I took his head off. And they're out in. They're gone. There we go. Easy as pie. And we lost only 187. Very pleased with that. Let's see. 179 kills by there. Artillery got 122 by there. That's pretty good. A couple of my units didn't get any at all. But a borer shall be ours. Stab through the neck. Fall to the floor. And it is ours. We will occupy Ebora. We have increased in rank. And we shall get, let's see, authority and morale, tax rate and construction. We can get something completely different. Assault ships, don't really need that at the moment. Cavalry recruits, unit recruitment fleet, um, support ship. Siege weapons and heavy ship recruits. I think I'm going to go for the morale. I think that's more important to me at the moment. So Abora is ours. I'm going to bring this general now down here to cover. And all we have left to take is Alisipo. And we shall see that in tomorrow's episode. So I hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Hopefully I'll be better by tomorrow. Until next time, goodbye.
Bombs away! Bombardier! Oh, bugger, that's too short. Damn. 